What's up, y'all? Keith's Vlogs, and we got a, a superstar over here, y'all. We got, nah, we got. <laughs> nah, not all that, you know. I got something special for you guys today. I just got one of my homies here. Um, Nigel, who are you, man? What's up? How you uh, doing? I'm good, I'm good. For y'all who probably don't know me, I'm Nigel Davis. I'm going into my fourth year at the University of Florida. I'm a computer science engineering major, and I'm interning as a software engineer at Microsoft right now. Software engineer. Yes, sir. Yes, Golly. sir. So, brother, you know, tell me, you know, I know you said you went to UF. What kind of things are you involved with at, at your school? Um, so, I'm a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Fall 2016 okay. initiate. So, Whoa. I do a lot with that as far as community service and, like, um, impactful programming. And I'm a member of the National Society of Black Engineers at my school. Last year, I was president, just transitioned out of that role. So I'm looking to get into like some new things in which I can like help uplift my campus. Yeah. Superstar, I told you guys, superstar. Nah, nah. <laughs> so, so are you familiar with computer science internships? Like, uh, like what kind of internships have you done so far in your college career? Um, so I actually didn't start off as a computer science major. I started as a mechanical engineering major. So I did an internship with General Electric and that was pretty cool, but I roomed with two computer engineering majors and they taught me like the basic foundations of like what you would do as a computer science or computer engineering major. So that kind of piqued my interest mm -hmm. and I ended up changing my major to computer science after that. So after that summer, I did, I was fortunate enough to get an internship with Microsoft as an Explorer intern in which you do like a portion of the internship as a software engineer and a portion as a program manager. So that was pretty cool, and then after that experience, I decided I wanted to dive deeper into the software engineering side, and now I'm here as a software engineering intern at Microsoft. Wow, so, so what are you working on right now as a software engineer? Right now I'm on the Cortana team, so I'm working on, um, let me figure out an answer that can. <laughs> <laughs> a legal answer yeah, that works. Yeah, a legal answer. Um, yeah, you know we're just working with different providers, um, and enabling Cortana on as many devices and giving users more capability and more functionality because you know we're um, working with competitors that have different functionality so we're trying to um, put Microsoft in that same space okay. and um, give our users some value. That's awesome man. So so you know what would you say your favorite part about working at Microsoft is? Definitely the culture like I feel like I could come to work as myself. Um, I think when a lot of um, well for me, a lot of minorities and a lot of my friends feel like to get a corporate job, you know, you have to be somebody else and you have to dress up for work every day, talk a certain way, act a certain way. But like right. here, I'm just like Nigel and sure. you know, I have my tattoos and stuff. Like nobody questions that, it's just normal. <laughs> they just let you come be yourself. So I feel like that's one thing you can check off. You don't have to worry about when you come into work. So you can just focus on like being productive. So I think that's like been definitely a factor in my success here and a lot of people's success like when you don't have to worry about who's looking at you what they're looking at you about what they're thinking when they see you you just focus on getting your job done it makes it a lot easier and a lot more comfortable wow wow you know a lot of people watch these videos hopefully wink wink uh, <laughs> for the incoming college students you know for the students that are looking to come into computer science what is your biggest piece of advice to them um, just incoming college students in general, I would say like keep increasing your knowledge and keep expanding your knowledge. I was just talking to Marquise about the more you learn, the more you understand you don't know everything. So like reading books, reading blogs, just staying up to date on what's going on in your field is very important because if you end up getting that interview and they're talking about machine learning or something, you just read an article about that and you can talk about that and speak on it, it makes you a lot more valuable and it makes you come across a lot more passionate. Right. So being passionate includes like being willing to learn. It's like a growth mindset kind of thing that they talk about here. Mm -hmm. um, being willing to learn, hone your craft and like expand your capabilities from what you are today, what you are a year from now, what you are five years from now. So I think that'd be the biggest advice that I give. Wow. Wow. So y'all heard it, man. Nigel is going places. I had a chance to meet Nigel here um, at Microsoft, and he's probably one of the hardest working individuals I've met. Uh, somebody I'm trying to get like, you know, I'm trying to be like this brother when I grow up. So, um, so yeah, I'm glad. Um, thank you, Nigel, my brother. Thank you for yeah, man. coming Good up time. here. And um, let me let me let me take you at your workspace. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions for us, feel free to hit us up. We are here for a couple more weeks. So talk to y'all later.
Yeah. No, like, subscribe, comment. Oh yeah, we gotta do that too. Like subscribe. and subscribe, please. If y'all enjoy these videos, please like and subscribe. All right, peace out.